Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on homogeneous differential equation of Euler's type. It is also known as the Cauchy Euler type. Let's rewrite the equation. x square d square is the first term minus 4 x d is the second term plus 6 whole bracket into y equal to x square plus log x. Now, this is of the form with variable coefficients. Now, using substitution, we are going to reduce this into constant coefficient. The substitution is x is equal to e power z or z is equal to log x. Now, we have a result x into d is d dash and x square d square is d dash into d dash minus 1. We are going to substitute this. First term is d dash into d dash minus 1 minus 4 into d dash plus 6 whole bracket into y equal to and here x square but x is e power z so e power z whole square is e power 2z and log x is z now the first term is d dash square minus d dash minus 4 d dash plus 6 into y equal to e power 2z plus z so, this will become d dash square minus 5 d dash plus 6 into y equal to e power 2z plus z. Now, we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square minus 5 m plus 6 equal to 0. This can be factorized as m minus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0. So, the values of m are 2 and 3. Now, we have to write the complementary function to different values. So, c1 e power 2z and c2 e power 3z. Then, we have to replace the z value that is c1 e power 2 into log x. Then, plus c2 into e power 3 into log x. Using the power rule, this can be written as c1 e power log x square and second term is c2 e power log x cube. This number will come as a power here and the same way it will come as a power here. Now e power log we get removed so we left with only c1 x square plus c2 x cube so we got the complementary function now coming to particular integral we have two part so particular integral one is we have e power 2z whole divided by we have to write this full quadratic expression d dash square minus 5 d dash plus 6 so here d dash square minus 5 d dash plus 6. As per the procedure, we have to substitute d dash as 2. The value of a here is 2, e power a z form. So, d dash square, so first term in the denominator 4 minus 5 to the 10, then plus 6. So, we get 0 in the denominator. So, e power 2z by 0. Because of this, we have to multiply numerator by z and differentiate the denominator. So, we get z into e power 2z whole divided by differentiation of this will be 2d dash minus 5. So, we get 2d dash minus 5. Now let's substitute d dash is equal to 2. So we get z e power 2z divided by 2 into 2 minus 5. Totally denominator is minus 1. So minus z e power 2z. By replacing the value of z as log x, we get minus log x. And this e power 2z can also be written as e power z whole square instead of replacing z as log x 
we can directly replace e power z as x. So we get x square. So into x square. Now coming to the particular integral 2. The other term we had is z and denominator as usual d dash square minus 5 d dash plus 6. Now we have to take 6 common in the denominator. So z by 6 bracket open d dash square minus 5 d dash by 6 plus 1. Let's carry this denominator term to the numerator by interchanging it. So we get 1 plus d dash minus d dash square minus 5 d dash by 6 whole power minus 1. Here we are going to use the expansion 1 plus x whole power minus 1 which is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus dot dot dot. Now this z is differentiable once. So we ignore the higher powers 1 minus x. x is nothing but this entire term d dash square minus 5 d dash by 6. The other higher powers we can ignore. And outside we have z by 6. Now we have to multiply the z inside. So 1 by 6 let's keep outside. So it becomes z. When I multiply z with d dash square, twice differentiation will give 0. And next we have plus 5 by 6 and d dash into z is Differentiating z once that gives us 1. So finally we get 1 by 6 z plus 5 by 36. And we have to replace z. So log x divided by 6 plus 5 by 36. After that we have to combine everything to get the complete solution. That is y is cf plus pi. So y equal to c1 x square. The term which we got here cf is c1 x square plus c2 x cube. So plus c2 x cube. Then particular integral 1 is minus log x x square. So let us write that x square as a first term. So minus x square into log x. Then plus p2 is log x by 6 plus 5 by 36.